You've heard of Arizona. You've heard of Brisk. They run the iced tea game in your local gas station. But once upon a time, there was another competitor in the iced tea world. One that was brave enough to merge the world of iced tea with vitamins, supplemental herbs, and amino acids. That's right. Today, get ready to sit back as we look back on Fuse Tea. The start of Fuse takes us back to the year 2000 when Lance Collins and future creative director Paula Grant came up with the idea in Collins' basement. Originally calling it Unify Health and Beyond, they saved up money from their day jobs to try to produce more of the drink and share it with possible customers and investors. Lucky for them, only a year later, they received funding from a man named Bruce Lewin who took quite a liking to the drink and ended up becoming the first board member outside the company as well as a major stakeholder. Joe Rose Amelia also joined forces as a founding investor the same year and the four got hard to work. In 2001, they officially launched their product in a few local organic supermarkets in Northern California with three original flavors. More on those in a bit. And it was an instant success. With just a year later in 2002, they grew their small group of four to having over 30 employees, as well as adding two new flavors to the roster. Between 2002 and 2005, the company saw exponential growth with their products expanding across most national retailers. They continued adding more flavors and products in an effort to try and keep up with the pace of the growing company. In 2004, Fuse was awarded the CSP Award for Retailer's Choice Best New Product. And in 2006, the company raked in a whopping $11 million in revenue. On their website at the time, they even had a sweepstakes partnering with Hilton, Hawaiian Airlines, and Lady Foot Locker for a chance to see island Def Jam artist Rihanna perform live for you in Hawaii. Yeah, Rihanna was so early in her career, they referred to her as just an island Def Jam artist, not her own name. Crazy. And so, in February 2007, Coca-Cola officially bought Fuse Tea for an estimated $250 million. They also acquired NOS Energy and Water Plus in the same purchase. Coke said the reasoning for this was to expand their portfolio with more beverages that scale across multiple markets. But it's no secret that Sobe was popping off around this time, and we know they were bought by Pepsi. Nevertheless, with Coca-Cola's power, Fuse sales almost tripled within two years. Carl Sweat, previous senior vice president of sales and marketing at Coke, was named president and GM of Fuse, which was run as a separate entity. Fuse founder Lance Collins was named head of innovation and strategy. Their first marketing promotion was in August 2007 with Fuse Music, which was a contest where people could enter blogs, photographs, and posters they made for the Pitchfork Festival, with the chance of them being featured on the website or at the show, as well as VIP passes. They also decided to add a Fuse Paparazzi section to their website, where they would upload pictures of celebrities drinking Fuse. In 2008, Fuse teamed up with cosmetic company Too Faced to put on an event called Resolution Slender Eyes. It had a few big names for the time show up and promote both Fuse Slender Eyes, their line of weight loss drinks, along with Too Faced's guilt-free lip gloss, which was meant to stop appetite. Yeah, the 2000s were wild. Although they did donate a large sum of money to the American Diabetes Association, so I mean, it was really a different time. In 2009, Fuse struck a deal with Subway for their Fuse iced tea to be sold in Subway fountains as well as a fresh brewed variety. They did add Fuse to the Coke freestyle machine as well. This gave the brand a whole new recognition among more classic consumers who weren't into the new age drinks like Fuse and Sobe. In 2010, Fuse underwent a Coca-Cola rebranding and honestly went pretty quiet for a while. They still did a bunch of local events around the US for different organizations in your traditional advertisements, but nothing super huge. In 2015 though, they had their next face for the brand, Mr. T. They did some interesting things with him like have people take selfies and crop themselves into pictures with Mr. T. They had a weekly video campaign where fans could vote for other fans to appear in a video with Mr. T. He had multiple articles where he gave life advice. You could even sign up and get a phone call from him. And that's honestly just a few of the things. He was their face for years. In 2017, for a new product launch, they had a sweet Mr. T and a tart Mr. T rap battle against each other in an animation. He would do street interviews, interact with fans online, so much stuff. I mean, this dude was either getting paid a lot or was just really, really cool. But 2017 would be the last year for Mr. T's partnership with the brand. In 2018, they would do their last rebranding. And at this point in my research, I could barely even recognize the bottles. They were so different from what I had remembered in 2010 and 2011. They shrunk down the roster to only four flavors and ended their deal with Subway. The website link officially just directs you to a page on the Coca-Cola website where they do still have five flavors listed, with all of them saying regionally available but no product has actually been seen in years. 
Well, speaking of the products and flavors Fuse invented, because there's a lot of them, I tried my best to get them all, but please let me know if I happen to forget any. Starting with the original three flavors I mentioned earlier, we have Mixed Berry, Banana Colada, and Cranberry Raspberry. In 2002, they released a series of drinks called Vitamin Tea, which came in Diet Peach Tea, Iced Tea with Lemon, and Green Tea with Ginseng. Between 2003 and 2004, they got hard to work and ended up forming four official lines for their beverages. They had Fuse Energize, which came in Exotic Punch, Moho Mango, and Blackberry Grape. This was their version of an energy drink. It was infused with guarana and caffeine, as well as typical superfoods. Fuse Slender Eyes was the company's line of supposed weight loss drinks. They came in Cranberry Raspberry, Cranberry Apple, Strawberry Melon, Pomegranate Acai Berry, and Tropical Punch. They had their Fuse Tea Redefined, which came in China White Tea and Green Tea, and their Fuse Refresh, which was what you would call their normal line of drinks, which came in Peach Mango, Banana Colada, Strawberry Guava, and Mixed Berry. In 2006, they introduced Fuse Vitalize, which was meant to boost strength and working out. They came in three flavors, Blackberry Grape, Orange Mango, and Fruit Punch. Notice how similar those are to the Energize flavors? But in 2008, Coke took over, with their first original edition being Fuse Green and Black Tea. In the early 2010s, Coca-Cola changed the line of Tea Redefined, and literally redefined it as just Fuse Tea and Juices. Around the same time, they would add their Half Lemonade Half Iced Tea Drink, Strawberry Lemonade, Berry Punch, and rebranded Lemon Iced Tea. In 2015, along with the Mr. Tea promotion, they underwent a whole nother rebranding. There were suddenly no more Slender Eyes. Energize had already been long gone, and instead Coke leaned heavily into just tea, juice, and their fountain versions. For juice, they simply had berry flavored punch and strawberry lemonade. For tea, they had lemon iced tea, strawberry iced tea, classic sweet tea, green tea, half tea half lemonade, diet lemon iced tea, and mango orange tea. In Subways, they still offered both fountain and fresh brewed varieties. For the fresh teas, they had sweet tea, raspberry tea, unsweet tea, unsweet green tea, sweet southern tea, and green tea with honey. And in the fountain, they offered peach tea, raspberry tea, sweet tea, unsweet tea, and lemon tea. In 2017, they released a sweet and slightly tart version of their watermelon lemonade. However, that would be the last year of all the antics and extreme marketing from Fuse. After the 2018 rebrand, we were only left with four flavors. Meyer lemon black tea, summer peach black tea, tropical mango green tea, and blueberry black tea. And that was it. Here are some honorable mentions of random flavors I found doing research but didn't really know where they fit in. Blackberry raspberry, dragon fruit lime, blueberry raspberry, and tangerine grapefruit. Looking back, we get to see a story that, at its core, was just a product of a dude living paycheck to paycheck doing what he loved. It's pretty amazing. I would love to have a conversation with Lance Collins and ask him about what he thought of the timeline of the company, especially after he sold it to Coke. And I wonder why Coke chose to shelve this unique beverage and push their other tea brands harder. Maybe it's because the new age drink wave, as marketing experts like to call it, was over. And the simple, slightly sweetened iced tea cake was in. It actually makes sense to me because like I said, I remember drinking Fuse between 2010 to 2012. Specifically the lemon iced tea or the half and half. In my head, it was a direct competitor to Brisk in Arizona. Although I do remember kids preferring it to Sobe when I was in middle school. But even by 2015, my freshman year, I can't remember seeing Sobe anywhere. Even today, I see Brisk in the store, but who is drinking it? Arizona is still definitely around, but brands like Pure Leaf and Honest were paving a new road in the store-bought iced tea market. Like I mentioned earlier, the brand page on the Coca-Cola website is still up, but you'll be hard-pressed to actually find any. As for someone who works in a grocery store, and as a friend who works in a Coke warehouse, there has not been sign of Fuse for years. It's always a little sad to end these videos and have to realize these products are gone, but it does make me feel good documenting its place in 2000s culture because it deserves it, along with the roster of other drinks we've covered. One day, maybe we'll even create a snack hall of fame. But until then, I'm going to keep making YouTube videos that you hopefully enjoy. I appreciate you all so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Sasuke's world if that's something you're interested in, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!